Hey guys, Bing here. Yesterday we did some a little bit dynamo exercise. Today we're going to do another dynamo exercise. In this exercise, I'm going to use uh, a family outside of this mass to control the pat uh, the pattern. So as you can see, I can just create some pattern like this. Okay, so okay, let's start. So first, I'll just delete delete this mass. Okay, so I'll still use this. Uh, I'll probably just use this one. Create a device surface, and then I'll use maximum spacing for both grids. One meter. And one meter, and then change and use the family family four. So from previous exercise, so you can say yeah, because I want to change the panel to um, zero degree. So select all S A, just typing zero. Okay, now, so actually you can see that's a family 5, so what, I'll delete this one, I'll do it again, okay, so, so if under the family, so in project browser, on the family, so that's a curtain panel family, so we can drag this family out, hang on, drag this family out, and it it can be placed like a um adaptive family so you can just so in this here i'm going to place it somewhere here okay and then probably move down a, a little bit in the middle here okay so let's open Dynamo. Oops, wrong one. So I already have that open. I'll just close it. I'll redo it. So new. So right click family types. And uh, oh, don't forget to change that to menu. Right click family types so all elements okay so just move that half screen here so then drop down family 4 and uh, link this so <coughs> now uh, because I want to Have the location of all the family four, as well as this one. So I'm going to uh, just edit, select this family, edit type, and uh, duplicate and call it family five. Okay. So and then select these, Control C, Control V. So and then change that to family five. So now if we run. You will have two lists. So one, this list is all the family four which is in this massing, and this list is this one. Now we need uh, the location of this family. So right click location and just uh, go down. So that's this one. So get the location of the specific family instance and then link and run. And you will see the point. This every single point is the family. So it's a little bit off but uh, not, it's okay, should be should be should be alright. And then 
Control C, Control V, and link here, and then run. So now we will have this point to so for this dynamic. <coughs> now we need to link, uh, not link, create a line between these points. So right click line. Your own line, star points and points. Okay, so what's what's this? Okay, star points and points. Run. Okay, that's one only one line. It's okay. So right click on this node. Um. Okay, here select cross product and then run. So now we have all the lines between family four and this family five. So let's have a look. Okay, this is a list, but because uh, it's all nine hundred ninety, see this in under this list. That's this one, two, three. So that's nine hundred ninety lists in under this list. So just just let let's just flatten it. F L A T T E. And then we will have a single list of lines. So and then the next step is right click length. L E N G K H. So we need to use the length of curve. No, not this big vector. Again, right click, length of curve, and link this. So run, and now we will get a list of all the length of all the lines. Yeah. So, so now we need to. Okay, so you can see I already have this open. So under this menu, on the length list, organize. The next step we need is sort index by value. So we need to get the have some, you know, like uh, sorting all this list from from the shortest to the longest. So you have this. Link, run, and then we will have. So these are the a list of sorry. So for example, the first two non A one eight is the six and the fifty second length in this list in this nine hundred and ninety ninety um length. Okay, so okay, the next steps is the next step is we need to reorder reorder this list. Okay, I'll I'll check that out later. So all element of family type. So let me. Drag this up a little bit, and then I'll right click, reorder. List, and uh, link this to the yeah, and uh, run. <coughs> okay, now we have this. List of elements. So start from the closest family from this family. So for example, it's, if it's here, it's probably this. So maybe let me. Okay, what's the next step? So the next steps is we need to create a list for the angle. Okay, so um, double click. So I'll start from zero degrees, 
to 90 degrees or maybe you know, 0 degree to 90 degrees every um, 0 0.5 so and if I run I'll create a list so start from 0 and every 0 0.5 degrees so that's a list of 181 different number or different angle and then I'll need to set the parameter so right on here right click set set parameter by name link this parameter name is A and value is this so and if I run Okay, you can see some of the panel changed. But let me just right click and uncheck the preview. So, yeah, um, actually, it's the angle's not right because I want these to be blended into the rest. So, I'm going to um, just uh, where's the list here. Just reverse the list. Oh, I -E -V -E -R. So reverse and then value to here. So if I run it again, oh, I need to um, preview, preview. Yep. So now you can see. So, so because this fan is here, so this area or depending on the, the the distance from this family to this family the closest which is probably here it will be become a 90 degree and then the rest will be using the slightly yeah smaller uh, uh, angle so so you can what you can do is you can select this family and uh, move it to to I can just move it to here, maybe a little bit lower as well. So and then if I run it again, let's create another one. So here yeah, you can also change the number of this list. So for example, if I change this from zero. 0.5 to 0.2, so which will increase the number of days. This, if I run, I'll show you. It. So before that, I'll just move it, move this family to different area. So let me say, uh, let me do here and move up a li little bit. You can use shift and uh, use some use those arrow key on your keyboards so and now let me run it again so this time we should have a bigger area because we have more so it's probably like uh, 400 or something yep 450 and then I'll just hide these lines so you can see so the area is bigger yep so yeah it, that, that's that's pretty much it it's it's quite um simple concept so so <clears throat> you can even like uh, have have some fam uh, some family with different different parameter for example like a uh, uh, height or you can have some family offset from the wall you can have um, yeah so this is just a very simple um, idea of using Dynamo to 
skip some pattern. So if you have any question, just leave me a comment and and I'll I'll save these two family in in my uh, Google Drive if you if you if you like to have a look. Okay, so that's that's it for today, and uh, I'll see you next time.